John Cena returned to WWE television this past Monday night on Raw Live from the Barclays Center. Now, last time we saw John Cena was at October's Hell in the Cell Network special from Madison Square Gardens, where he lost the U.S. title to returning Alberto Del Rio. When Cena's music first hit, he heard a mix of cheers and boos. Quickly turned into a loud John Cena sucks in the flow of his music. Like, you know, the John Cena sucks. That's about as much thing as you're going to get in me out of this one. <laughs> Did anyone notice that he had on a new shirt supporting the, supporting his 15 times as, as champion? It's still He's still got a mixed reaction from the crowd, which is uh, kind of shocking because um, he's been off TV for quite a bit. You figure the fans would be a little bit more uh, acceptive of him coming back. So, um... First thing Cena does, he calls out Del Rio to get his rematch for the U.S. title. Del Rio came out not willing to face Cena for his title, but can you blame him? Uh, it's up to the champion if he wants to, uh, to defend his title or not on Raw. And uh, Cena started going on to question Alberto Del Rio's manhood, even called him a punk bitch. Now, I'm going to give John Cena credit there because that is probably the most masculine thing he's said in the past three years. So, that you know, kudos, John Cena. That's good. Um, after he called Del Rio a punk bitch, uh, Alberto Del Rio... Angrily agrees to John Cena's title match. Um, so the match is going on. We get a ref, a ref bump preventing Cena from uh, reclaiming the title when he had uh, Del Rio submitting. Um, League of Nations stormed the ring, attacked uh, Cena. Rusev connects with uh, that big side kick that he does. And after Rusev kicks, hits that kick, Del Rio goes for the cover. And that wasn't even enough to keep the man who never gives up down. More interference from the League of Nations led to um, a backstabber as well as the same kick. Del Rio used to win the, the championship. But Cena fought back and hit his AA. Sheamus and crew uh, jumped in the ring, breaked up the pin, broke up the pin, and we get a DQ finish. Well, with that DQ, Del Rio keeps the United States title, and so the league starts to beat down John Cena. Eventually, Roman Reigns runs to the ring to save the day, took out, took out the League of Nations. Uh, Vince McMahon, back from jail, announces that Roman Reigns will be defending his title against Sheamus at the first Raw of 2016. Oh yeah, guys, John Cena's back. After Raw goes off the air, John Cena comes back in the ring, and the two have a stare down in the middle of the ring. Now I'm talking about uh, Roman Reigns and John Cena. John Cena gives like his, uh, you know, his passive aggressive smirk, um, puts up his arms like, "Yeah, I'm John Cena." Then the League of Nations hit the ring again and attack Cena and Reigns. Cena and Reigns clear the ring. Um, so yeah, they beat up the League of Nations, and uh, could this be a look into this year's WrestleMania main event? I really hope not, because. Uh, I kind of I want to keep Reigns away from Cena and vice versa. You know, I don't think that would be that good of a match. I don't because like where they both stand with the fans, how they get mixed reactions. Uh, fans are starting to accept Roman Reigns, but honestly, to get him over more, yeah, I guess you would put him against Cena because the fans would definitely would cheer for Roman Reigns. But uh, is this going to be our main event at WrestleMania, guys? What do you think? Leave a comment. But the ratings for Raw, okay. So this past Monday night, the first hour, we got three point seven zero million people, uh, three uh, viewers. The second hour, 3.49 million. The third hour, featuring the returning John Cena in the U.S. title match, got a whopping 3.43 million. The lowest ratings in the night featured the returning John Cena. Now, I don't know what that says to WWE, but uh, hey, right there it shows you, like, uh, if you go by the numbers, that your best hour was the first hour when it featured uh, Vince McMahon and <laughs> him going to jail. Um, it's always funny to see a guy go to jail on uh, on Raw, but uh, so those are the ratings for the night. Um, Monday Night Raw almost getting up there again, uh, you know, trying to get back some of its viewers. But uh, three point seven for the first uh, for the first hour, not bad, guys, not bad. Uh, it's better than three point nine, uh, three point four nine, and three point four three. The last hour featuring Cena. So John Cena's back. What do you guys think? Uh, I see that they're going right back to the exact same. Uh, Cena, 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 he's going to be the guy. Uh, I honestly think he's going to win the Royal Rumble, and then he's going to go on to fight Reigns at uh, WrestleMania, but I I, I kind of was hoping, like, maybe we get, like, a Brock Lesnar in there to fight Roman Reigns or something, because, like, you know, I think Lesnar and Reigns could put on a good match. Uh, so, guys, what do you think about John Cena coming back? You know, I'm com I'm going to give it an open mind. Let's see how uh, the Master of Thugonomics keeps it up. With that being said, I'm wrapping things up there. Like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment with your thoughts on John Cena returning. Remember, guys, John Cena sucks. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, hey, a lot of people don't like him. A lot of people do. That's why it's a controversial topic. So leaving at that, peace out, guys.